the insurance regulator IRDA has identified three state owned insurance companies LIC GIC re and the new india assurance as too big to fail institution this means that these three institutions are so big and important that if they fail it will impact the entire financial system and also the economy these two big to fail institution will now be subjected to higher supervision by the insurance regulator but the government and the regulator have to follow a broad governance framework in a more rigorous manner this includes raising the level of corporate governance creating a professional organization with performance based culture no government interference in supporting a product or asking these companies to bail out the public entities extensive on-site inspection of books by the regulator and finally benchmarking this institution with the efficient private sector companies in terms of performance parameter let's understand the too big to fail framework in detail the boards of these three institutions today are packed with bureaucrats retired officials and public sector bankers in a 12 member board of lic there are five members from the corporation which include the chairman and the four mds there are two bureaucrats two cmbs of a bank and a general insurance company and there are three retired general insurance officials on the board of the lic there is absolutely no need for four professionals from the general insurance industry in the lic and that too the retired professionals similarly the seven member board of gic re has two banker three retired officials of the insurance and the general insurance as independent directors and one bureaucrat here too they are retired officials as independent directors clearly there is a need to revamp the board of these three institutions there is also a need for a complete overhaul of hr and the recruitment process the focus should be on building specialized skills like investment actuary sales marketing big data and analytics right from the early stages in today's world every function is becoming more specialized with the kind of changes that are happening in the business in order to bridge the current gap these institutions should be allowed to hire laterally at the market based compensation leadership development and succession planning is another important area where these institution often struggle the government interference also creates a huge risk for these state owned companies LIC is often a lender of the last resort for bailing out the government companies. Recently, LIC was asked to bail out the failed IDBI bank, where the corporation had to infuse more than thirty thousand crore. In the recent past, the state-owned general insurance companies were quite aggressive in underwriting government-sponsored crop insurance. Most of them are actually making huge losses in the crop insurance business. Some large private sector insurance companies have already exited the Fasal Bima Yojana, but the state insurance companies doesn't have that luxury to say no to the government. GIC Re, which is a reinsurer, was at the forefront of providing insurance to the general insurance industry. This was at a time when the global reinsurers present in India were very cautious. The state-owned companies are also more aligned to the Department of Financial Services under the Ministry of Finance for achieving the objective of the government. Former RBI Governor Aguram Rajan and Deputy Governor Bilal Acharya in a recent paper suggested disbanding the Department of Financial Services as they interfere too much in the public sector companies. Extensive on-site inspection is also required by the regulator. The regulator should also beef up their skills in the areas of legal investigation, cyber security to be able to issue early warning signals in the too big to fail institutions. Finally, there is a need for benchmarking these institutions with the efficient private sector insurance companies in terms of performance parameter. The regulator should also look for best practices globally. The insurance regulator's move to identify too big to fail institution is a right move but the bigger work starts now what is needed is the implementation of the new framework in letter and spirit